Hello, everyone. My name is Amy, a fitness professional with Corporate Fitness Works, and welcome to your uh, dumbbell workout. This is strictly strength today, so strength training at its finest. Now, today's setup, we have supersets. So supersets is where we will alternate between two exercises, working the same muscle groups or uh, the opposing muscle groups. We'll go through those two exercises twice, and then I am sneaking in a little bit of cardio. Um, and I'll be performing, uh, offering modifications along the way. So we'll perform each exercise for 45 seconds with a 15 second rest. And let's get started with our warm up first. So I have four supersets today. And each superset will take about five minutes. So 20 minute workout with a warm up and a cool down. So this is a good 30 minute workout today. And we're just working the major muscle groups, uh, lower body, core and upper body. So let's just start with some shoulder rolls. So shoulders come up, back and down away from the ears. So hopefully you're having a good day so far. Hopefully you had a nice weekend. And then you can begin to add the elbows and the arms. So warming up the upper body, the shoulders. Good, and then reverse the direction. Okay, and then we're gonna bring our feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And we're gonna squat down We'll warm up the uh, lower body. And again, we're still warming up. So you're just squatting as low as you comfortably can. Okay, then we're gonna come down and hold this pulse here. So just a nice little pulse, remembering to keep the weight on the heels, maybe even wiggle the toes up off the floor. Good, and come up and we'll come back down. Little pulses up and down. And back up. Okay, then we'll make sure we have some space in front of us. We have our feet hip distance apart. Reach the arms up overhead. Take a big lunge forward and down. Bending the elbows 90 degrees. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and then squeeze the chest. So forearms pressing and open and close. Okay, let's come back to the center and then we'll switch sides. So alternating lunges, warming up the chest and the back. Okay, let's do one more on each leg. So weights are always optional for my workouts, but if you do have weights, feel free to use uh, medium to heavy. So you're using weights that feel heavy, and then you have weights that are not light, but not heavy, it's that medium. Okay, next we're gonna come into inchworm. So reach the arms up overhead. Hands come to the floor, inch your way out into a plank. And hold here, core is engaged. And inch your way back. So also make sure you have some space to move around. So clearing out an area for a nice, to, Stay active, so also some water. Hold this plank here, core is engaged, nice flat back. Okay, and then we're gonna come down to our knees. So we're in tabletop, uh, shoulders are over the wrists, hips are over the knees. And we're gonna extend the left arm and right leg out and holding here. Okay, and then pull the belly button in, round the spine, tap the knee to the elbow, and then come back out. In and out. Okay, 
out and hold and let's switch. Okay, holding here. Deep breath in and then exhale, come all the way down back to the floor, curl the toes under, lift the hips up, back into downward dog. Okay, and then walk the hands back towards the feet, roll yourself up. Good, and then just some lunges side to side. So taking a step to the side, lunging to the side, and coming back to the center. Alternating left and right. Okay, one more on each side. And then we'll come into some jumping jacks. So arms come up and down. Tapping the toes out and in, or jumping out and in. And a march or a jog in place. All right, we're warmed up, stretched out, ready for our first superset. Starting with lower body, we have goblet squats and reverse lunges. 45 seconds on. 15 seconds to transition to the next move. So you will need one medium or heavy weight, or you can use your body weight. You'll have your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Bring the dumbbell to the chest, lower down, and then come back up for 45 seconds. Just like in the warm up. So keeping the weight on the heels, toes released up off the floor. Ready, set, here we go. So now that we're warmed up, maybe you sink a little deeper into your squat. Squat a little lower, maybe move a little faster. So inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Make sure you keep breathing. We have 20 seconds to go. Keeping that chest lifted, pulling that belly button in. Nice job, final seconds. Okay, 15 seconds now to transition to the reverse lunges. One dumbbell in each hand. Arms extended down at your sides, feet hip distance apart, and a big lunge back and switch. Here we go, 45 seconds starting now. So from the side, big lunge back. That back knee comes down towards the floor. Keep the chest lifted. So again, if you're using your body weight, you can certainly have your hands on your hips. That always helps me keep my form if I don't have my dumbbells. We have about 10 seconds to go. Okay. Super setting, so back to those goblet squats. One weight. Feet wide. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, round two of two. Keep the knees pointing wide. So about 45 degree angle with the toes and the knees. So the front corners of the room. About 20 seconds to go. Okay, 
Hang in there, almost finished. Down and up. Five, four, three. Woo. Okay, reverse lunges. Nice big step back. Front knee stays behind the front toe. You're driving in to that front heel. All right, we're about halfway. Big step back, keeping that chest lifted. All right, nice job. Put the weights down. Here comes our cardio. From 45 seconds of cardio before we move on to the next block. So jump squats or squat with a heel raise. So shifting your weight to the toes, lift the heels up off the floor. Or we're jumping. Use those arms to help propel yourself up. We have 30 seconds left. Where did this cardio come from? 20 seconds. Nice job, keep moving, down and up, down and up. Ooh. All right, nice job. Time for a little longer rest, about 30 second rest. And we're moving on to superset number two. We're gonna be down on the floor working upper body. Okay, feel free to get a sip of water. So next we have hip bridge chest press. So we're going to come down to the floor, knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Here we, here we go. Let me pause it. I'm going to pause the timer, describe the exercise, and then press play. So feet flat on the floor, knees bent. Squeeze the glutes, lift the hips. Elbows come about shoulder height. And you're going to press the weight up over the chest and then lower back down. Keeping those hips up off the floor the entire time. OK, ready? Set, go. Lift the hips, press up and lower down. We don't want our elbows to touch the floor between each rep. So always having a little bit of that tension between each rep. So exhale when you press the arms away, inhale when you lower the arms down. All right, our next exercise, we have push-ups. So good old fashioned push-ups, you can do push-ups on the wall, or wall push-ups, or down on the floor. And if you are currently in our 500 Club Challenge, these push-ups count towards your 500 repetitions. Week one, we're challenging you to complete 500 push-ups. These push-ups count. So make it count all the way down, all the way up. Final seconds, 10.
All right, back to the hip bridge, chest press. Super setting. Okay, going in three, two. All right, 45 seconds. Press that weight up, lower it down. You can always press that weight up quick and then take about three seconds, lowering the weight down slow and then press it up quick, lower the weights down slow. Slow and controlled, fighting gravity as much as you can, fighting that momentum and really using your muscles to control the weights. Okay, next push-ups. Remember your option, you have the wall uh, on your knees, on your toes. So hands wider than shoulder distance and then elbows bend at about a 45 degree angle. So not directly out to the side or not right against the ribs. About 45, in between both. Fifteen seconds left. Okay, and here's our burst of cardio. We have mountain climbers, so we're, we're going to have our wrists under our shoulders in a plank, and then we're running our knees, climbing a mountain, or you can hold. Or you can always hold this plank here. Timer started. We're climbing. We're breathing. So remember holding here, or you can even come to your knees and hold that up position for those push ups. Keep going, 15 seconds left. One and done. All right, completed is superset number two. We're taking a longer rest, about 30 seconds, moving on to number three. Okay, back to some up or uh, back to some lower body. We're going in 15 seconds. Okay, one weight, or again, body weight. Dumbbell at the chin. Ready, set, go. Curtsy lunge. So before we were doing reverse lunges, a straight step back. Now it's diagonal, down and up. So working slightly different muscle groups. When it's that diagonal step back. Ten seconds to go. Okay, next stationary lunge. We're going to keep our feet wide, wide stance. Lunge to one side, press the weight overhead. Lunge to the other side, press that weight up. Ready, set, go. You can always move a little quicker. 
Lunge a little lower. Twenty seconds to go. All right, round one complete. Fifteen second rest. Back to those curtsy lunges. Going in five. We're more than halfway done. Here we go. Back and to the side. Good job, 15 seconds left. Okay, it's a little stationary lunge. Keep your feet planted, shift your weight side to side adding that overhead press. Reach those, reach those arms up. Good job, keep moving. Left. All right. It's that time for cardio to sneak in for 45 seconds. We have skaters. So step to the side, that trail leg steps diagonal back. Use those arms, pumping the arms. Staying low, keep the chest lifted. Step, tap, step, tap. Or adding that hop. Come on, 20 seconds left. Nice job, almost there. Final seconds. Whew. All right. We made it to the fourth and final superset. Quick sip of water, walk it off. And we're coming back to the floor for some arms and core. All right, we're in a plank or tabletop. Row those arms up. Work in the upper back. Ready, set, go. These breaks go by quick. Or come all the way back to the toes and row the arms up. <clears throat> So keeping the arms, keeping the weights, the hands close to the torso. Squeeze the shoulder blades towards that midline. 10 to go. Good 
Nice job. You need to come all the way down to the floor. Reach those arms up overhead. We're going to lift the arms and legs up. Pull the arms down. Reach up. And then lower back down. So up. Pull down. Reach up. Lower back down to the floor. Up. Pull down. Up. Down. Okay, back to our plank rows. Plank rows, Superman, cardio, then we'll be all done. We'll cool down and stretch. Okay, so you can be in that tabletop position, or you can tap the toe, or a opposite hand, opposite shoulder tap, or if you're using your weights, throw those arms up. Time for those back extensions. Okay, here we go. Up, pull down. Reach up, lower back down. Okay, 45 seconds. We have burpee jacks. Hands to the floor, jump out and in, hop to the top, jumping jack at the top, and then back down to the floor. Ready, set, go. Or you can always step back to your plank. Step out and then step those feet to the hands, modify jacks at the top. You are finished. Keep moving. March in place. Walk around the room. Get a sip of water. We're going to recover actively. Slowly decrease the heart rate. Do some stretches. And I'll send you on your way. Okay, let's just sidestep, side to side, shoulder rolls. Good, shoulders up, back, down, away from the ears. 
Marks those feet wide. Shift your weight to one side and we'll just hold here. Good, then we're gonna face this side wall. So you're gonna keep your feet where they are. You're just gonna pivot so you're in a nice big lunge. Reach the arms up. Okay, and then that back foot takes about a half a step in. Shift your hips back. Reach for the toes. Okay, and then plant that front foot down, roll yourself up. Come to the center, bring your feet wide again. Shift your weight to the other side. Whew. Okay, and we'll keep our feet where they are. We're just gonna pivot, facing this side wall in a lunge. Reach those arms up. Straight and strong, just like a warrior. Okay, then that back foot takes a half step in. Shift your hips back, reach for the toes. Plant that foot down. Roll yourself up. Good, bring those feet hip distance apart. Extend the arms out, thumbs down, reach back. Okay, interlace the hands, reach forward. Activity completed. And take a deep breath in, reach up, exhale down. Do one more. And activity completed. You are finished. Nice job today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for moving with me. Hope you got a good workout in. You feel stronger, energized, more accomplished. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you next time.